mind-bending thing after another. But I guess like anything, you know, if you do it long enough, it becomes normal to you. So they have a kind of a casualness when they're explaining this stuff to you. Ryan Gosling is a Canadian actor who starred in a number of films. He started his career as a child star in the Mickey Mouse Club on the Disney Channel and went on to feature in various family entertainment shows. His first major film role was as a Jewish neo-Nazi in The Believer. And he went on to feature in many other movies. In 2004, Gosling rose to prominence after starring in the financially successful romance The Notebook. Gosling was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actor for his role as a drug-addicted teacher in Half Nelson, making him the seventh youngest candidate at the time. He was like very casually saying, you know, uh, well, look, it's all, all the, you know, the mirrors on this telescope will be able to, uh, you know, uh, decipher the atmospheres on distant planets. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Ryan Thomas Gosling, but is also known as Ryan Gosling. He was born November 12, 1980 in London, Ontario, Canada, making him 40 at the time of this production. He stands 6 feet 1 inches tall. Gosling is a strong supporter of a number of social causes. He collaborated with PETA on a campaign to get KFC and McDonald's to adopt better chicken slaughtering practices in their facilities, as well as a campaign to get dairy producers to cease dehorning cows. In 2005, Gosling helped in Biloxi, Mississippi as part of the Hurricane Katrina cleanup operation. He's a supporter of Invisible Children Incorporated, a Central African organization that promotes awareness about the LRA. Gosling visited the Darfur refugee camps in Chad in 2005. In 2008, he was a speaker at Campus Progress's national conference where he spoke about Darfur. He visited Uganda in 2007 and Eastern Congo in 2010 as part of his work with the Enough Project. Gosling dated Murder by Numbers co-star Sandra Bullock for a year. For two years in the mid-aughts, he was linked with The Notebook co-star Rachel McAdams. Besides, Gosling began dating Eva Mendez, his co-star of The Place Beyond the Pines in September 2011. They have two daughters together, born in September 2014 and April 2016. It was her first time in New York, and I, 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 I brought her to the window in the morning, and I, I, I said, uh, you, know, you know, sweetheart, welcome to New York. Ryan Gosling, a traveling salesman at a paper mill, and Donna, a secretary, raised their son Ryan in London, Ontario. Both of his parents are of French-Canadian ancestry with some German, English, Scottish, and Irish thrown in for good measure. His parents were Mormons, and Gosling has said that the faith had a profound effect on their life. He, on the other hand, said that he never could truly relate with Mormonism. They moved about a lot because of his father's business, and Gosling lived in both Cornwall and Burlington, Ontario. When he was 13, his parents split, and he and his elder sister Mandy moved in with their mother, an event Gosling credits with teaching him to think like a lady. Gladstone Public School, Cornwall Collegiate and Vocational School, and Lester B. Pearson High School were all where Gosling received his education. He was motivated to become an actor after seeing Dick Tracy as a youngster. He hated being a kid, was tormented in elementary school, and didn't have any friends until he was 14 or 15 years old. He brought steak knives to school in grade one, strongly inspired by the action film First Blood, and tossed them at other children during playtime. A suspension was imposed as a result of this occurrence. He couldn't read and was tested for ADHD, but he wasn't diagnosed and, contrary to popular belief, he never received medication for it. For a year, his mother quit her work and homeschooled him. Homeschooling provided him a feeling of liberty that I've never really lost, he added. Gosling began performing in front of crowds at a young age, inspired by his sister's career as a performer. He and his sister sang at weddings together, and he was a member of a local ballet company. He also performed with Elvis Perry, his uncle Elvis Presley's parody act. Because it was the one thing for which he earned appreciation, performing increased his self-esteem. Because he considered having a Canadian accent did not sound rough as a youngster, he created a distinctive accent. He started to imitate Marlon Brando's voice and accent. At the age of 17, he dropped out of high school to pursue his acting career. 
Gosling earned parts in Remember the Titans and The Believer before starring alongside Sandra Bullock in Murder by Numbers. He became a household name with his performance in Nicholas Sparks' The Notebook in 2004 with Rachel McAdams. He took home an MTV Movie Award and 14 Choice Awards for his performance in the film. He followed up the role with appearances in Stay, Half Nelson, Fracture, and Lars and the Real Girl before taking a three-year hiatus from filming movies. His work on Half Nelson got him his very first Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. The next year, he was nominated for his first Golden Globe for Best Actor for his role in Lars and the Real Girl. When he returned to the big screen, he earned his second Golden Globe nomination for the 2010 film Blue Valentine, starring opposite Michelle Williams. By this time, Gosling had emerged as a solid actor with a wide range of talent, as well as quickly becoming known as a Hollywood sex symbol. He followed up his critically acclaimed Blue Valentine role with three ambitious movies in 2011. First up was Crazy Stupid Love, starring Steve Carell and Emma Stone. He then starred as a stuntman who moonlights as a getaway driver in the critically acclaimed and well-received Drive. In late 2011, he starred with George Clooney in The Ides of March, a role which earned him his third Golden Globe nom for Best Actor. Continuing to progress in his acting range and hone his talent, he starred in the crime drama The Place Beyond the Pines in 2012, opposite Eva Mendez, and co-starring Bradley Cooper. Gosling played the role of a motorbike stunt driver who robs banks to provide for his family. Gosling has been quoted as saying it's the best experience he'd ever had making a film. His performance was critically acclaimed and praised by fans. He took a break from acting in 2013, and his directorial debut, Lost River, competed in the 2014 Cannes Film Festival to largely negative reviews. In 2015, he was back to acting, playing a part in the financial satire, The Big Short, which was an Oscar Best Picture nominee in 2016. The following year may have been his biggest yet, when he starred in the smash hit movie musical La La Land, he secured a Golden Globe win for Best Actor and his second Academy Award nomination for his starring role as Sebastian. It was one of his most financially successful films, earning over $440 million against its $30 million budget. Next up for Gosling was 2017's Blade Runner 2049, which earned him praise as well cast in the role. Gosling's next role was playing Neil Armstrong in the 2018 biopic First Man, based on the book of the same name. You know, like for instance, they have a, uh, they built this multi-axis trainer, which is something that NASA designed just to sort of help the astronauts prepare for the worst case scenarios. Ryan Gosling earns an estimated salary of $0.7 million per month and $8.9 million per year. The majority of this earning comes from movies and brand endorsement. Ryan Gosling also takes home the profit share from his movies, apart from his acting fees. He takes a huge sum of money for brand endorsement. Ryan has done multiple mainstream roles in Hollywood movies, which make him one of the most versatile and talented actors in the field of cinema. Gosling's net worth is estimated to be around $84 million. Ryan Gosling resides in Los Angeles, California. He bought his luxury home in 2011. The estimated value of this property is around $1.9 million, he also owns many other properties in some other countries. Cars you'll find in Ryan Gosling's garage include a BMW, a Ford, and a Range Rover. A Porsche 911. 